ओम विश्व दर्पण दृश्यमान नगरी तुल्य निजातर्गत पश्यन्नात्म मयया बहिर्वोद्भूत यथा निद्रया यक्षात्कुते प्रबोध समये स्वात्मेवाद्वयम तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमिद श्रीदक्षिणाूर्त बीजस्यांतरिवाकुरो जगदीद पुनः माया कल्पित देश काल कलना वैचिचित्रीकृत मयावीव विजृंभयी महायोगी वयस्वेच्छया तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमिद श्रीदक्षिणाूर्त तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमिद श्रीदक्षिणाूर्त सहना सहनौ भुनक् सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मिदिषा वह ओ शातिशा सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ वर्ष 169 <coughs> समे विभोगे व्यसनम भ्रांतो गच्छिन्न बुद्धवा अशक्यार्थस्य संकल्पाद भ्रांतस्य व्यसनम बहु सो विद्यार्थी इज एनालाइजिंग द ज्ञान फलम गिवन इन द सेकंड हाफ ऑफ द मंत्र बृदाणिक मंत्र किमिच्छन कस्य कामाय शरीरम अनुसंज्वरे एंड वेल दिस ज्ञान फलम इज ए काम निवृत्ति किम इच्छन डिजायरिंग वॉट वेल डिजायरिंग वॉट मीन डजन डिजायर दैट्स आक्षेप सो ज्ञान फलम इज ए काम निवृत्ति आफ्टर दैट वेल ही इंटरप्रिटेड दिस काम निवृत्ति इज नॉट डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डिजायर एज सच इट्स ए इट्स एक्चुअली ए डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए बाइंडिंग डिजायर दैट्स वॉट ही सेट Non-binding desires are possible in a gnani also. Non-binding desires are there even in a gnani also. <laughs> It's not even if you see in the cases. I mean, it, all our desires are non-binding desires. We also have certain non-binding desires. We are not all the time, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, we feel that we should fulfill this desire. We drop also certain desires. We also drop. So. if if see that this issue is little serious in as much as if if you know agnyanis have desire is non binding agnyanis have binding desire then how agnyani is going to accept binding desire non binding desire he will not accept so because that is agnyani is uh, you may be saying that his desires are not binding to him but how do we know so we should say even in a ignorant person also not all desires are binding even if desires are not fulfilled you don't feel a, any kind of a lack you drop even desire without fulfilling also if you you also say okay if i get fine if i don't get fine we use this kind of expression and we mean it also we mean it and therefore so this is non binding binding desires are there in agnyani only non binding desires are there in agnyani that's all why because uh, gnani is free and therefore there cannot be binding factor ha huh? if binding factor is there then where is freedom therefore very simple and there his he is all desires become non binding desires at a stroke it is not that he takes a, a every desire in his mind and converting from binding to non binding no 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 the vision of oneself well because of that itself all his desires which but then how come desires are there well we said prarabdha vasana prarabdha vasana due to that desire is going to arise and it is proven if you see any gnani's life has a desire had a desire and it did they worked also for fulfillment they worked 
But if they don't, if that that does not get fulfilled, well, they don't, they don't. Uh, I mean, they they don't feel a lack or you know any kind of a self rejection, etc. Anyway, this is what it is. Anyway, so when non-binding desires are fulfilled, well, uh, they don't create a further samsara. In Agnani's case, binding desires are there. He work for, for the fulfillment. He works for the fulfillment, and that leads to further samsara also. So Agnani also Agnani also has a prarabdha vasana jannya desire. Yeah, Agnani also has a prarabdha vasana jannya desire, and therefore. Uh, definitely, Agnani's attitude is that, uh, you know, he has a first an idea of a Satyatva Buddhi and also there is attachment to the Bhoga etc. and worry also about um, losing the Bhoga. I mean, he works for the fulfillment of the desire based on Prarabdha Vasana and towards that, uh, why, he, why he works for the fulfillment? Because he feels that that particular Bhoga object I should get. Why? Because he has a Satyatva Buddhi. He definitely feels that uh, that object is there, really. And um, if I get it, and if I experience it, I will have a fulfillment. So Satyatta Buddhi is there. And there is definitely, because of the Satyatta Buddhi, attachment also will be there to that object, object of enjoyment. And then uh, while enjoying itself, he may feel that he is going to lose because he knows that object he is going to lose. So worry about losing it also. And uh, the standard example is that follow the example. I don't want to go into that follow the example. <laughs> I just gave it. So few people were there in the previous class. So I, but anyway, let me give a few people. Anyway, so I'll enjoy follow that through a straw. <laughs> Two people are there. One is a Gnani and one is a Gnani. And you also may have a desire of enjoying follow the, okay? And therefore, and therefore he's, he's sing, drinking it. But he, he closes his eyes and, you know, he's in Brahmananda. So he's enjoying it. Only when that budbud avaj come, you know, voice comes, means now it is exhausted, liquid is exhausted, he will keep it in the glass on the side. Whereas this Agnani, while enjoying itself, he's looking at the glass. So the layer is going down of that liquid. Okay? So he has a worry that it is going to be over now. That is what it is. <clears throat> So, and uh, now this is regarding Faluda, drop Faluda now, but for every object, this is how it is. His, his prayer literally reveals of ignorance of the fact that he, this, the object is ephemeral, it is time bound, it is going, it is going. And, the, and in, a, in a manner he was enjoying the object, that, sh, that object in that form is no more there. People have a tremendous attachment for their houses and uh, because uh, the way they have designed and looked in their mind, they have that, all the colors and beautiful, tremendous attachment when they, go, they, they have an experience of that house, they go into the house and all and later what? Now the way, in the form in which they, have, they were enjoying and had an attachment, that form is no more there. That's called Anitya. And so, and this Agnyan, he, he says here in 167, he reveals a Vishesha Prathana. What is that Vishesha Prathana? Ma Vinashyantu. I am Bhogaha Ma Vinashyantu. This Bhogaha, he is bound to Vinasha. And he says Ma Vinashyantu. So that is a Vishesha Prathana. Their worry that Bhoga will run away so, well, he catch, he, uh, I mean, uh, Ishwara now. Uh, well, don't, don't, uh, this, th let this Bhoga, uh, please don't get it destroyed, you know. And uh, so, this Vishesha Prarthana is a Brahma. Ma Vinashyatu am Bhoga. Vardhata, Uttarottam Vardhata. <laughs> so, anyway, okay. And so, uh, two things are there in Ajnani. First is this Abhimana, claiming that, uh, you know, to enjoy the Bhoga, you should have a perception of yourself, which is really a Brahman. And that is, I am a Bhokta. I am a Bhokta is, is understanding. So Bhoga also is uh, real. I am a Bhokta also is real for that person. 
he doesn't have that kind of a thing. Oh, this Bhaktrutam, etc. is just a Vesha. It's a, just a role. I am actually, you know, Brahman, etc. Which in this, um, in this situation, I am taking up a role of an experience of this Bhoga, etc. Nothing. I am a Bhokta is real for him. That Abhimana. That's Abhimana. Abhimana means, say, identification. I'm born of ignorance, definitely. And so, Abhimana is there. And so, he claims that enjoying that bhoga, etc. That prarthana also is there. And worry about losing also, etc. For that only, Vishesha prarthana. So, that's what he says. Let everything will continue. My bhoga will continue. And in one corner, there is a Vishesha prarthana also. For for what? For drashti parihara. Najar lag jati hai. So, <laughs> that is there. Swamiji, don't tell every to uh, all the people. Why, 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 why? No, they, they, these people, unki nazar lag jayegi aapko. Because neighbors are watching, you are in a very good condition now. And uh, so you, one way, or you pray to Ishvara. Now let it be there, let it be there, let it be there. On the other side, ye dusre log, <laughs> I mean, seeing in Hindi. <laughs> So, let the other people, you know, should not have their evil eye or something. I don't know what is it called in English. But so, Drashti Parihara. Not Drashta Parihara, huh? the Drashti Parihara. So, that is also going on. This is the lot of Ajnani. The Chinta and this Vishesh Prarthana, it together indicates a Brahma. And that is responsible for further samsara. This Vishesh Prarthana and this Chinta for the current situations, well, etc., uh, is responsible for further Brahma. <coughs> so, Pata Samsara. So, and um, further samsara, why further samsara? Further samsara requires a reinforcement of Ahankara. And that is the life. That is the life of an ignorant person. Day, day by day, he is reinforcing that I am an individual. He is going literally away, quite away from the knowledge. The difference between a waking state and the and deep sleep state is this. Waking state, ignorance. Deep sleep, ignorance. But waking state and deep sleep state, if you compare, you find more relaxation in a deep sleep state. Not because of physical relaxation. That's a one thing. It's a, in fact a byproduct. The waking state, ahankara is there. One step further from ignorance. And that ahankara keeps growing and growing day by day. By different relationships, by different experiences. It keeps on growing. By different possessions. More possessions, more ahankara. This Ankara, I'm not talking about some kind of a, you know, ego. Or this, what, our ego. Now I'm possessor of this, I'm possessor of that, I'm possessor of that, I'm possessor of that. So day by day, relationship grows, Ankara grows. Day by day, possession grows, Ankara grows. Transaction grows, a child transacts and a, a young transacts. Very big, much difference. A young man transacts and a, a adult I mean, transex, who is a gross tax sector. He has much more transactions. There is a young, <laughs> he has a few transactions here and there. Child has even less transactions. So one is going towards more and more, more and more. Because Adnyanam uh, has led to Ahankara. And Ahankara is growing. Means you are going away from the, you know, Sukha, etc. Anyway, so Abhimana is also reinforced, Ahankara is reinforced and therefore this is how samsara is life anyway. And in 167 that has been told that uh, uh, he is praying that uh, you know Ma vinashyatu ayam bhogaha vardhatam uttarottaram ma vignaha pratibaddhantu May I not get or may my family, I and my family may not get any kind of an obstacles etc. Asmat the news me. Oh, I am so fortunate, Swamiji. I am so fortunate because of this. Ha, this thing has happened. While well, a grandson has come, therefore we are very happy. Or granddaughter came. Something. All. 
सो दिस ऑल इति ब्रह्म हि सेस इति ब्रह्म एनीवे सो फर्स्ट ज्ञानी डज नॉट हैव अ सत्यत्व बुद्धि व्हिच अज्ञानी हैज एंड नॉर ही वांट्स अ पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन व्हिच अज्ञानी इज प्रेइंग फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन फेवरेबल कंडीशन कम्स देन ही वांट्स टू रिटेन इट etc etc so gnani well even he doesn't have want to retain a particular situ- condition also why 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 he looks very like a disciple i think he is gnani no no he knows prarabdha is a fluctuating factor why fluctuating factor we have discussed and we will be discussing he is very much aware any event in my life is fluctuating any event in my life is not under my control i am a contributing factor as a hankara even i am a contributing factor to this uh, to the events in my life to the future so gnani is then what kind of attitude gnani has like verse, verse 168 167 uh, ignorant person's attitude which is called brahma by <laughs> vidya and 168 this gnani's attitude yadava this is a golden line really this we should remember yad abhavi tad na bhavi that which should not happen that won't happen he knows for sure and bhavi chet tad na anyatha well whatever has to happen it can't be avoided also this is his attitude for different events agnani's attitude is ma ayam bhoga vinashtu let this favorable condition be there and uh, well vardhata and you have given me a favorable condition very nice thanks uttaratam vardhata let it grow further and further let me enjoy more and more ma vignaha pratibadnantu may you not bring any event which is unfavorable in my life dhanyosmi asmat because of this i am really fortunate this thing has happened in my life i am really fortunate i am really fortunate etc iti brahma anyway <laughs> and gnani says this yad abhavi tan abhavi and bhavi abhavi uh, chet tad nanyatha abba this is big difference between two so whatever has to come across well prarabdha will bring i am not here to change the force prarabdha iti bodha so this kind of uh, this awareness he maintains while while he is uh, going through the rest of the prarabdha so even if when favorable situations are there well he he has he maintains this in his mind and that is the medicine for uh, two powerful causes of samsara so one is a chinta second is a vishesha prarthana to the lord so chinta vishagna <laughs> iti bodha chinta vishagna this kind of a um, attitude this this is understanding wisdom chinta vishagna visham hanti iti vishagna vise krutagna krutam hanti iti krutagna visham hanti iti vishagna this is this attitude the golden line yada bhavi tanna bhavi bhavi chet tadnanya tha that golden line is a medicine that is his understanding iti bodha well def- definitely chinta uh, vishagna this is the only destroyer of a worry about the future and we have seen also chinta and chita right so it is a chita chinta dvayor madhye chinta reva garisi gariyasi chita dahati nirjivam chinta prapnuyatam vapuh chinta pranayutam vapuh pranayutam is endowed with the prana means say life person so chinta literally burns a live person chita burns a a fire burns a dead body and so chinta visham hanti iti chinta vishagna it has been compared with the visham uh, uh, chinta has been compared with the visham because it's a click like a visham it is this also is a killer chinta also kills slowly it kills slowly and so so this is a medicine of brahmaha brahma nivartakah he says this bodaha brahma nivartakah which will uh, remove the uh, nivartak which will remove this brahma 
चिंता एंड विशेष प्रार्थना बोथ आर नॉट दैट इन ज्ञान इज लाइफ विच 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 इज अ फैक्टर दिस चिंता एंड दिस विशेष प्रार्थना इज द फैक्टर फॉर संसार फर्दर संसार सो वेल सो दिस इज आई मीन अज्ञान इज दिस वन इज अब द मस्ट बी वेल ऑलवेज फेवरेबल टू मी दिस शुड नॉट गो अवे अनफेवरेबल शुड नॉट कम ऑल दिस थिंग्स ज्ञान इज इज प्रारब्ध इज अप्स एंड डाउन वेलकम वेल सो यू नो ज्ञान इज लाइफ आचार्य से ज्ञान इज लाइफ इज लाइक ए वेडिंग फंक्शन वाई he says in wedding function when the people are living after you know attending the function some are living and some are coming and all that is going on so when uh, people are living well they give a this uh, you know coconut and uh, betel nut etc so on one hand this in the function so people are going this the parents of this boy or girl they are giving this coconut and betel nut and some few people are arriving so then they they sprinkle this rose water on them <laughs> so both the things are going on bodha sara says agate swagatam kuryat gachchantam na nivarayet agate swagatam kuryat when you know anything uh, event comes in the one's life swagatam kuryat we do this swagata we do you welcome and if it's something is going well let it go anyway so so this yadabhavi is a golden line etc so because of this attitudinal difference between gnani and agnani which has been shown in 167 and that is a condition of a agnani 168 shows a condition of a gnani nature of bhoga well of course uh, will becomes a different otherwise bhoga comes due to prarabdha in both uh, everyone both of them i mean uh, they are getting so that is told in 169 bhoge same api so experience of prarabdha is same brantah vesanam gachet well this agnani has got a tension and worry whereas buddhavan vesanam na gachet his vice does not have any strain etc he is ready to lose the losable ultimately this that actually he has uh, uh, he has developed this attitude uh, in a sadhan chatushte sampatti in fact that is um, that, that is what the vairagya is defined as he is ready to lose what is losable that's what that's called vairagya so he has developed that attitude now it has become a second nature of him so whereas this samsari has this illogical wish ashakya arthasya sankalpat so basically he has a wish which is illogical ashakya arthasya it which cannot be fulfilled so brantasya bahu vesanam bhavati for the samsari while he have a fear and anxiety and tension etc in his life what is that illogical expectation i am bhogah ma vinashyatu bhoga is the one which is uh, which is time bound it will it will perish but he says no let it not go let it grow as if the he in the future he has a control so well that is not uh, correct and he wants this it's a karma phala prarabdha only eh hey, mundaka upanishad says this karma phala is anitya and this person while praying thinks that this is nitya so ma vinashyatu let it not get perish etc that is not correct so pravahiyate adrudaha yagna rupaha if you remember in mundaka upanishad i think it is in the first khanda itself pravahiyate adrudaha adrudaha yagna rupaha uh, so this yagna etc karma and karma phala etc will adrudaha adrudaha means anitya so this is how so this is how expecting a favorable prarabdha condition all the time it leads to disappointment for this agnani so brantasya bahu vyasanam gnani does not have such expectation and so make hay when sun shines this is the thing anyway then that is said again in verse number 170 maya mayatvam bhogasya buddhva stham upasamharan bunjano pina sankalpam kurute vyasanam kutah so attitude of a gnani is uh, this so when favorable prarabdha brings a favorable condition buddha gnani is intensely aware of whatever he has learnt in vedanta classes and well so bhogasya maya mayatvam so all this uh, bhogas has a maya mayatvam 
before we maya mahatmam has been explained further in uh, 171 but first let us understand this bhogasya maya mahatmam is what so there are five doshas in the bhoga and that uh, we have uh, compared also we called it earlier we called it as a visham and uh, those things are very simple so you know this um, this bhoga basically uh, always the pleasures i mean pleasures always bring brings a pain along with and so that we all know also so arjane dukham rakshane dukham vyoge dukham so dukham is always associated arjane even you want to when you because bhoga is something which you are not i mean you that you have to acquire right and uh, and while for acquiring you have to put efforts for to keep the bhoga to sustain the bhoga you will need lot of efforts in the same shape so that they can give joy of course it won't be and therefore there will be big struggle and uh, viyogi dukham they are going they are time bound so therefore the first thing is any pleasure is always associated with the pain that's the thing second is uh, even if they give you a pleasure that uh, it leaves behind uh, you a atrupti and so well that is the sense of unfulfillment so before experiencing you may have a sense of unfulfillment of course but after experiencing well your desire for the more bhogas will be there and therefore atrupti will remain this satisfaction will remain and the third thing is a dukkha mishrita the third thing is basically dukkha mishrita uh, i mean bandha uh, katham they say so they they make you more and more dependent and therefore as if you are bound by all this bhogas fourth is uh, mithya because this is a gnani's case so he has understood them as a mithya also and uh, fifth thing is he understood that all the bhoga comes of course as a course of event in course of different events so all events are also connected to prarabdha and this is also one of the powerful factor to bring the bhoga so all the five things he knows about this bhogas maya math all events are determined actually any event is we have discussed this any event is determined by agami karma and prarabdha and agami is uh, definitely generated from uh, exercising the free will of the present and prarabdha is uh, generated by uh, exercising free will of past and therefore any event in life is a result of both agami and prarabdha both agami is in your my, my control because i have to exercise this event has come in that i have to exercise my free will and therefore well definitely um and past free will is already used and therefore it is and it is what you have done at that time we don't know and therefore that is unpredictable uncontrollable unsustainable that is so all events have both things together one is a prarabdha other is, second is this um agami that is a free will of the present and also the um, free will exercised of the past which has made a prarabdha so that is that is uncontrollable we don't know also and even if we know now we can't do anything because i have done that in the past which has brought this event so therefore uh, when it, since it is a mixture of both well you can just contribute uh, exercising free will right now that that much you can do and the second factor with the prarabdha we can't do anything even science talks about uh, you know this um, future time and past time one can go in future they are they are talking you can um, what your future is you can go there right now <laughs> but certain conditions are there and uh, well and you can change situation they are making lot of movies also out of that so then you can definitely do because it is going to be in future so you can change but regarding past can i do something they say no you can see your past but you can't do anything that's what they say that's so see, any event based on my free will of the past and uh, well will be uh, determined also by the free will in the present and therefore ultimately what you can do in present uh, by your free will that's in your hand 
that will shape the future events, I mean. But ultimately, the past one, which is based on my free will exercised at that time, whatever time, that is, uh, you can't do anything. That has brought the prarabdha. That is one of the factor in event. And therefore, any future event, means future, is uh, not under our control. I am a contributing factor to my future, not a controlling factor. So, Astham Upasamharan, well, so I should not have any attachment for the future. What is under my control, well, I can have attachment. I can have a craving. I can have a fantasy. I can have a fantasy for the future. Well, as I as I having a, um, as I am having a fantasy, the situation will be there in future. No. It will be different. It's not under your control. And therefore, Astham Upasanam means he should, uh, we should not have a attachment for future. So Upasamharan means actually, you know, he does not entertain. Gnani. So Astham basically means attachment. Upasamharan means he does not entertain any kind of an attachment towards various events. So planning etc. of course is required for today's activity, but um, we can't project too much regarding the future. <clears throat> so he says, na sankalpam kurute, and therefore, sankalpam means a projecting future. So Upasamharam is withdrawing a future expectation, and uh, well, he, he, I mean, withdrawing a future expectation. So he does not, and that's na sankalpam kurute, means he does not project too much in the, for the future. That's how Bhagavan also uses the word sarva sankalpa sannyasi, etc. So, na sankalpam kurute, well, uh, he, the jnani does not, does not, uh, I mean, project the future. And bunjanaha api, so definitely he can, he plans a agami, etc. as a hankara, as a mithya hankara. He knows unpredictability part of the prarabdha. So, bunjanaha api, even well, when he enjoys the favorable benefits of prarabdha, well, kutaha vyasanam. Why there is a worry, uh, why there should be a worry for that person? Because he does not project anything of the future. 171. Sapneindra jala sadrusham achinte rachanatmakam drashtanashtam jagat pashyan katham tatra nurajyati. So in the previous shloka, Vidyaranya said that, uh, well, Jnani does not forget the mithya nature of this universe with various bhogas and that is explained here and he has used the word maya mayatvam maya bhogasya maya mayatvam you have to remove the sixth case and tvam that is the style of all the acharyas so maya mayasya bhoga uh, sorry maya mayatvam bhogasya means bhogaha maya maya that's all so sometimes they they write uh, instead of tvam you will find tvat Bhogasya Maya Maya Tvat. Then also you have to remove the Tvat from that uh, word and here Bhogasya, the sixth case, Sya also you have to remove. Then you will understand uh, thoroughly. So Maya Maya Sya Bhoga, uh, Maya Maya Tvam Bhogasya is equal to Bhogaha Maya Maya. And this Maya Maya Tvam has been explained now in this verse. Jagat Sapna Indrajala Sadrusham. So, Jagat Sapna Indra Jala Sadrusham. So he is comparing now Jagat. But he has brought Sapna in that. So why he is comparing with the Sapna? Indra Jala we have compared several times. But he is now here comparing with Sapna also. So such a two, two examples are there for uh, showing the reality of this Jagat. One is this Indra Jala magic show. We have seen several times. And now he is adding another example, Sapna. So, Sapna is a real from a Sapna Drishta standpoint, from a Taijasa standpoint. From Jagrat standpoint, it is not real, right? From a Vishwa standpoint, Jagrat Vekar standpoint, it is not real. Same way, um, Jagrat is real from the Vekar standpoint and it is Mithya. Mithya from which standpoint? From Dreamer standpoint. That's the thing. We, we miss, really speaking, I also miss several times. 
we say jagrat is mithya from the parmarth no 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 jagrat is mithya from dreamer stand you for me you cannot say whatever you like to say whole mandukya is like this mandukya is in a process vaitatya prakaran especially proves the you know proves the sameness acharya proves gaudapada acharya ji literally that is why this our acharyas they 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 are wise enough not to teach mandukya in public because this waking world is proven mithya as as mithya is the dream as mithya we actually what we do well from waker standpoint dream world is mithya from dreamer standpoint dream world is satyam and the wake same way wake from wake uh, i mean uh, wakers waking world is mithya from atma standpoint parmatya <laughs> no waking world is mithya from dreamer standpoint yeah from tejasa standpoint waking world is mithya from waker standpoint from vishwa standpoint this dream world is mithya that's what has been explained here so and so it is mithya from the ishta standpoint or turiya standpoint or atma standpoint that also you can say that and that is the one thing and uh, the second example is indrajal magic show so which is, he say achintya rachanatmakam sapnendra jala sadrsham achintya rachanatmakam achintya rachana how it has happened we don't know how this world is we don't know so how how this um, uh, our uh, magic magician brought out this money all this dollar bills from a burning uh, paper we don't know achinte rachana that is called achinte rachana yeah so you know we had, we had uh, uh, this the uh, in olden magic shows i don't know now what is there must be some different things so in olden days you know there is one one woman will be there and they this magician tells her order sir you sleep here on this that uh, stage and uh, then he cuts in two pieces but he, we that time i did not realize there was not a single blood you know drop of blood comes out even though he cuts and he he walks in between separating two parts in between he walks and then he joins like that jarasandha <laughs> he joins also <laughs> it's amazing it's just amazing but it did not click me at that time that you got a person means what a blood etc not a drop of blood but anyway this is achinte rachana how he did all this and, and then again joining two parts and then she just gets up on the stage and <laughs> like that so anyway as you see it dis- disappears right drashtam nashtam that is what bhartruhari said uh, in the whole verse i will give you next time kshanam balo bhutva kshanam api yuva kamarasikah kshanam vittaihi hinah kshanam api purnam vibhavah etc etc it's a big verse so kshanam balo bhutva now when i look at uh, you know when i look back you know from this what are the age from there you look back and see your childhood and you feel that the things are over you know uh, so rapidly at that time well it was appearing like a it's a very long people say it also that some oh diwali has again come back oh diwali has again come back whole year has gone <laughs> so rapid but at that time the month of october was not going so fast month of september was not going so fast and now when we look back we feel the time has gone so fast that's what uh, bhartruhari says kshanam kshanam api yuva kamarasika kshanam vittaihi hinah kshanam api purnam vibhavah vibhavah means wealth so he got wealth he he lost all the wealth in stock market in in a moment and that's true the he person loses or <laughs> right kshanam api yuva kamarasika etc etc anyway now my body is full of wrinkles you know every joint uh, draws my attention and uh, now with the stick i am going to the green room and in green room lord yama is waiting you know <laughs> well you did a wonderful you did a wonderful uh, you know uh, i mean 
you are you are a wonderful character you did a wonderful job whole life is drashtanashtam in infinite time jagat pashyan while seeing such unstable universe katham tatra anurajyadi how come this intelligent person is this gnani invest all his emotion in this fleeting things you just compare with this our agnyani who is ma bhogah i am i am bhogah ma vinashyatu uttarottar vardhata ma vignaha pratibadnantu you just compare so katham tatra anurajyati anuragah you know so anuraga means this um, this attachment how come this intelligent persons uh, person how well invest in this all this uh, all his emotions in this fleeting things if at all i should invest it must be in the thing which is nityam so katham tatra means in fleeting things well how should I, how how can i do means he will not do that's a akshep actually so how can he invest his emotion in this fleeting things he will not definitely not in fact his abidance in a nitya vastu there is a question of uh, investment like they give an example of a cheat funds etc you know cheat funds they 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 give a <laughs> 20% interest 20% interest no bank i think can give a 20% interest <laughs> so so shows a, and one day you lose your all money so this is what it is this anatma is offering a big interest and uh, these agnyanis definitely uh, get, are getting attracted for the investment not agnyani verse 172 sa sapnama sa sapnama aparo aparokshena sa sapnam aparokshena drashtva pashyan svajagaram chintaye da pramattah chintaye da pramattasan ubhav anudinam ubhav anudinam abha ubhav anudinam muhu so here vidyarnya says well initially it will be very difficult to accept um, jagat as a mithya he is showing a way what to do it is very much tangible uh, outside this is this is this verse is very important for us it is very i mean it is very difficult in a class uh, one understands thoroughly everything is mithya as one gets up and goes out and going to the dining room talking about swami and then he finds everything is real the dining hall is real food is real the bhokta is real everything is real we never get even a iota of uh, a, even a, a, you know this insight that this is mithya so this jagat uh, to understand uh, accept jagat as a mithya is very dif- difficult But because it's very tangible it's outside me it is intimately experienced and is capable of generating pleasure remember these four points i'm telling you so it is very much tangible first it is outside me second it is it is intimately experienced third and fourth it is capable of generating pleasure now how can we say such world is mithya when these four things are there to prove it is it is it is, it is satyam how can you see it is it is mithya when such doubt comes well you imagine your own swapna and convince your buddhi you imagine your own existence in the swapna and uh, you are experiencing swapna swapna prapancha all four conditions are there what for all four four conditions are there for dreamer well dream world was outside and uh, dream world was appearing uh, tangible and uh, dream world is experienced intimately and dream world was creating uh, generating a pleasure what you four things you are saying here because of which you say the jagat cannot be mithya same four things are there say world dream world is is uh, tangible for dreamer please understand that and dream world is outside the dreamer always dream outside the dreamer not it is swami ji in the vehicle I, we are not comparing for dream world is experiencing world outside he is going and go you know eating and this and that so he is experiencing outside he is intimately and uh, i mean intimate the whole dream world is an uh, object of intimate uh, experience 
and dream world was creating a generating a pleasure also so anyway so for a dreamer dream world was outside it is clearly experience through the five senses of dream five senses and uh, dream world was solid tangible he could feel the different objects physically by dream hands right dream hands and uh, fourth it gave pleasure to his senses dream senses so even though it is like that that all the four factors by which uh, present in the waking world by which you say the waking world is real same four factors are in the dream but we don't say dream world is uh, satyam we say waking world is satyam so and the whole dream world you know while if you when you wake up it is reduced to bunch of thoughts projected by our own mind so so dreamer well actually never accepts dream as unreal during dream but it is a it is unreal same in waking world also it is the same thing all four factors are there and therefore it is unreal who has to tell to whom i have to tell to myself i have to tell to myself that's what he is saying anudinam mohu chintayat anudinam every day dinam means a day anudinam means day after day anu means paschat after so uh, anudinam is means day after day means this is not he, he is indirectly telling us this is not going to a one day's job today you have understood in a panchadashi class that jagat is mithya a teacher proved and uh, you you find it is satyam when you get up from the class and go away and then you get frustrated he says that's not correct anudina mohu mohu means what often every day as often as possible l- compare these two things compare these two things many vedantins get frustrated in a shravana because this factor they are not able to swallow many vedantins i have seen they are not able to swallow when these things come jagat mithya they they mind they, they they lose they are not in the class they are not in the class i could see them as if this this thing they are not I means their mind is uh, literally rejecting this idea so he is telling they must have experience in those days perhaps apramatta diligently anudinam mohu chintayet without fail pramada means failing some sometime doing sometime failing diligently without fail well think this so apramatta san being apramatta being uh, diligent ubhav chintayet ubhav jagrat and sapna one should compare jagrat and sapna or jagrat of this vishwa baker and uh, uh, sapna of a tejasa we can compare so you are the you are the one as a as a dreamer you have experienced the world all four factors are there now you are a baker and experiencing this world same four factors are there and therefore if i say the sapna is mithya dream world is mithya well this is also mithya so he should compare and meditate well after doing what swa swapnam kha parokshena drishtva a parokshena aparokshataya drishtva means experience here swa swapnam so after experiencing his own dream regularly well which comes in the night and thereafter waking up sa jagaram api apash sa jagaram api pashyan may you see even the jagrat and go back again imagine your dream which you have already experienced so it will come to your smriti so sa jagaram api pashyan with respect to sapna uh, so he, he, it's very amazing he said sa sapnam aparokshena drishtva see that twa pratyaya indicates that one action is over and second is in progress then only we can see that we can use this twa pratyaya drishtva so swap sapnam aparokshena drishtva by uh, i mean after i mean after experiencing his own dream regularly well and then swa jagaram api pashyan so well right now you see you are in a jagrat avastha so see the jagrat 
and uh, well that thing you have already experienced so bring call it recall it and so go back and imagine your dream bring it to your memory and then again compare with this jagrat which you are right now seeing anyway so while you are awake then do this meditation in jagrana it's in jagrat avastha only you imagine dreamers dream and chintay chintay means meditate literally meditate means you bring it back again and again that's called meditation so here ubhav ubhav api you can see here ubhav anudinam ubhav anudinam so ubhav anudinam and this ubhav ubha is a word and um, ubhav is a dvivachana of that word dvitiya vibhakti dvivachana because ubhav chintayet may you meditate contemplate thought think again and again uh, this too vishwayam i mean sorry jagrat avastha hai sapna avastha so then if i meditate on both then what will happen well vidyarnya says this thing will happen 173 chirantayo sarva samyam anusandhaya jagare satyat buddhim santyajya nanu rajyati purvavat so you can i mean practice this contemplation or a meditation and uh, further assistance is there in mandukya upanishad so he is just mentioning uh, indirectly second chapter i told you vaitatya prakranam in which gaudapada makes uh, this beautiful comparison between sapna and jagrat means if if this with this four factors of both you are not satisfied no this is some day in and out with this four factors keep on uh telling to my mind well instead i need some more assistance okay go to this second chapter of a uh, mandukya vaitatya prakranam in which godapada acharya ji has make a very beautiful comparison very nice so the comparison of sapna and jagrat and it, in fact it begins with this vaitatyam sarvabhavanam sapne ahuhu manishinah vaitatyam so vigat so tathatvam means a, a, a substantiality and v stands for vigatah so vigatah uh, tathatvam vigatam tathatvam yasmat iti vitatah tasya bhavah vaitatyam so from from a womb the substantiality has gone means mithya non substantial sarva bhavanam vaitatyam <laughs> sarva bhavanam vaitatyam etc sapne ahuhu manishina so you discover both uh, tayoho sarva samyam means you discover both are same in all aspects respects both are tangible both are experienceable both give pleasure both are real <coughs> so for waking observer waking is real even though both are same in all aspects well we say sapna is unreal and jagrat is real but that is not from a vedantic standpoint it is from vedantic standpoint jagrat prapanch is as unreal as sapna prapanch why he the what he says there you know various arguments are there various arguments he says jagrat prapanch mithya this is anuvana vakya jagrat prapanch mithya why drishyatvat sapnavat so simple right oh vilaj is laughing see jagrat prapanchah mithya i think we we discuss this anything which is drishyam is mithya anything which is drishyam is anatma why drishyatvat anatma alone is becomes an object of knowledge never atma atma is one because of which anatma is known and therefore if anatma is known well then i would like to know atma also like anatma the just as i am able to see the pot i would like to see atma that's impossible the very fact that you are able to see you are able to experience the pot it is proven what atma the just as i mean the photos are there if photos are generated it automatically proves a camera even camera need not come in a photo camera is proven if somebody is asked still ask for the proof of a camera it's a height of foolishness so all experience takes place of a jagrat all it's a states of experiences 
all experiences of a dream and all experiences of a jagrat and no experience of a time, place and object takes place due to one thing. That's consciousness. That is constant. Otherwise, no experience takes place. And you say, no consciousness. I was there. I slept. I woke up. I had a dream. Okay, then I am consciousness. Therefore, that alone is a reality. Jagrat and Sapna, both are Mithya. Both are Drishyam. So, Tayoho Sarvasamyam. So, the, between this Jagrat and Sapna, well, <coughs> there is a similarity in all aspects. Anusandhaya. This is, this thing we should remember. Anusandhaya. Not Gnatva. Uh, Gnatva means we know. Like today's class, we know. Oh, Drishyam. As we get up and go out, we feel everything is real. So, Anusandhaya, one should meditate for a long time. You have to dwell upon this. But for a long time, where is it told? Chiram, Chiram Anusandhaya. So, you have to, you have to dwell upon it for a long time. Jagare Satyat Buddhim Santyajya. Jagare, the notion of a reality with respect to Jagatavastha. Jagre is a Vishaya Saptami. So with, res, with regards to this waking state, Satyatva Buddhim, so the no, Buddhim here means not knowledge. Satyatva Buddhi is here notion. So the notion of the reality with respect to this Jagratavastha, Santyajya, well, you give up. So, well, you remove this, you know, this, um, this stain of a Jagat Satyatva Bhavana that you remove by Nididhyasana, by this Anusandhanam, Santyajya, you totally remove it. Purvavat na nurajyati, then mind will not get attached. Purvavat, earlier it was, mind was having an attachment to various objects, etc., beings also. Now it will not get attached. So, anurajyati, anu plus ranjadhatu is there. It's in first conjugation, it's a vaipadi and fourth conjugation also. So, we know anuraga word also. Ranjati from that word Raga. Anu plus Ranja, Anu Raga. May attachment. So, well, how do we know that uh, now, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this has gone? Now, well, means um, attachment, etc. has gone. Well, <laughs> moment attachment, uh, I mean, the attachment goes, then this, this Brahma will go. Abhimana will go. Satyatta Buddhi will go. If attachment comes, then definitely Abhimanam will be there, Satyatta Buddhi will be there, and then Vishesha Prarthana will come back. Vishesha Prarthana. All will come up, come back. Which is there in verse number 167. That will also come back. And worry also will come back. Everything will come back. And if you are established in that, the Prarthana will go. Means Gnani will not do any Prarthana. He may do for everybody. Not for himself or for his family, etc. Family may be included, but just for my family or just for myself, no, that thing will go. To for me and my family, you should have a sense of individuality. Ahankara should be there, and ahankara will be there, but the reality of ahankara will be there for agniyani. That thing is gone. Abhimana and satyatta buddhi is gone. That's it. So this prayer etc will not be there. So nididhyasanam or this kind of a contemplation has. Meditation has removed all this. Abhimanam, Satyatta Buddhi, Vari, Vishesh Prakna. Everything gone. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om